Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the impossible domino. A domino that falls over, knocks the one next to it, then pops right back up to where it started from. Ever since I made this video that I called the reverse domino effect, a lot of people said they left disappointed because they expected the dominoes to fall over and then pop back up again. So that got me thinking, is it actually possible for a domino to fall over and then pop back up to where it started from? Can it ever get enough energy to get back to where it started from? We know that if you drop a bouncy ball from a certain height, no matter what, it can never get back to the height in which it started from because it always loses a little bit of energy due to friction and sound. Even when you have a system with a really high coefficient of restitution like this here, you can see that it never can bounce to the point in which it started from. But does that same principle apply to dominoes? For example, is it possible to have two dominoes and one knocks over the other one, but then bounces back up and is able to stand up from where it started from? So I printed these and tried it. And I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And I could not get the domino to pop back up again. Oh my goodness, I don't know how this is ever gonna work. It does not want to stay up after it hits. But then something amazing happened. The first domino that I knocked over got hit and then bounced back and fell backwards the opposite way in which I pushed it to start with. So that means the domino actually ended up with more energy than it needed to even get back to starting position. It had more than it needed enough to even tip it the other direction. So after a lot of trial and error by putting weights on different sections of the dominoes, I found that if you weight the bottom back half of the domino that you're tipping over, almost every time you can get it to fly backwards. So it can always get enough energy to bounce back and even fall the opposite way in which you pushed it. Finally, I put weights on just the bottom half of it and this happened. Yes! Yes! Got it! I was able to get the domino to stand right back up from the place that it started from. So how is this possible that a domino can fall over, bounce back up, and get to the same height in which it started from? Let's check the weight on the dominoes and see if one weighed more than the other. Okay, let's see how much these actually weigh. So this one is 16.6 grams, then the one that flips back up is 17.7 grams. So this one actually weighs one gram more than the one that tips over and flips it back up. You have to remember that when you're dealing with dominoes, the potential energy that you're giving the dominoes comes when you set up the domino to begin with. You've loaded it with potential energy when you place it upright. But at this point, it's in a metastable equilibrium point. You can see that when I just give it a little push, it doesn't have enough energy to topple over, so it can't give out its potential energy again. So you have to get it over some initial activation energy in order to knock it over. The total potential energy of the domino is more than the activation energy needed to knock it over. So that means to knock over a domino, you can knock it over with something that's smaller and has less energy than this bigger domino has. That's why you can do things like have progressively larger and larger dominoes. So you can start with a tiny little domino that ends up knocking over a domino the size of a building. So now that we know that we can store more energy in the domino than it takes to knock it over, then it can start to make sense on why you could be able to knock this domino back upright. So when this domino gets knocked over, it falls and it kicks up the back of it. And that little kick up is enough to spring this one back up. But here's the thing, if these two dominoes had exactly the same potential energy, then that little kick up couldn't happen. It could never gain enough energy to get back to its starting point or get back to its same potential energy that it had to start with. So why was I able to get it back upright? You'll notice where the center of mass of these two are. Notice how this one is hollow in the bottom and this one's hollow in the top. So the center of mass is lower. And I even put weights on it to make the center of mass even lower on the object. So this one doesn't have a lot of potential energy compared to this one. This one has a lot more potential energy because the center of mass is clear up here compared to this one, which is clear down here. So all we need in this first domino is enough potential energy to get over the activation energy to knock over this domino and it has so much potential energy after that that it can kick it back up and lift this one back up to where it started from and even give it more energy so that it falls backwards sometimes. 
So there you go, impossible dominoes aren't that impossible. As long as you have the right center of mass and weight distribution, you can pop the first domino back up to where it started from. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out the Action Lab Shorts channel where I do videos similar to this channel but make them a lot shorter in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.